Good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update. This one's for March the 16th, 2014. Rain showers and clouds now in place across eastern Carolina, and it looks like it's going to continue over the next few days. And even talking about much cooler temperatures as we head into tomorrow, and I don't think we're going to make it out of the 40s uh, for many locations uh, for tomorrow. And even some areas may not even climb out of the 30s until we head towards, say, Tuesday or so. But the rain shower is going to be in place, and also we're talking about a warmer trend as we go into the first days of spring. But... Another cool down on the way, and it uh, looks like things may stay a little cool as we head into the last week of March. I'll give you those details here in the update video. Here's a look at the satellite and radar, and uh, man, oh man, that's a big old system that we're watching uh, coming out of the Gulf states, and you see the uh, big swirl uh, coming through Mississippi. Light to moderate rain showers continue across eastern Carolina this evening. You see the nice little moisture fetch going to be coming up the... Uh, uh, the gullet here coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, this whole system's got to still move off towards the east and then eventually northeast as it comes up the coastline. But we're still in for rain as we head through the overnight hours tonight across eastern Carolina. Here's a look at our precision forecast. Well, a little dry slot tonight, but uh, it comes right back as we head through the overnight hours. So there's going to be a little period here over the next few hours uh, where we will be a little bit drier, but there's going to be another r round of showers on the way by tomorrow morning. Uh, here's 7 o'clock, and once again, temperatures are going to start to slowly fall. We've been falling slowly through the afternoon hours. We're down to 45 now here in the metro. Uh, 30 is up, up to the north, and uh, we were talking about how the temperatures are going to kind of stair-step their way downward through the afternoon hours. We were as high as 57 today. We're down to 45, and it's been kind of one of those things kind of going downward through the day and up towards, say, a Hosky. They got to 50, uh, or 52, I think, and they're down to 39 now. And uh, the showers will continue to kind of fall down through the next couple of hours. Now, temperatures are going to stay above freezing. Everybody in the east, above freezing. So that's good news in that category. But I will say this. Right along the I-95 corridor and points off towards the north and west, that's where we could see a may maybe a, a brief switch over into uh, Halifax, Northampton County, maybe a switch over to a rain-snow mix. Now, there could be a couple sleep pellets intermingled with these temperatures uh, hovering around in the upper 30s and low 40s, especially north of U.S. 264 and uh, east of, uh, west of Highway 17, but I think for the most part, it's just going to be a cold rain here across eastern Carolina. You see that off towards the north and west. Uh, they're going to be dealing with more ice, snow, and sleet uh, through the day. Now, there will be a lull in the activity through the afternoon hours tomorrow, so we'll go with off and on showers through the day tomorrow, but it's going to be pretty much just a, a nasty, raw type of day with a brisk northeast wind. Uh, it's just not one of those days you really want to go out and do anything. Uh, temperature is going to be ranging from the 30s to near 40, uh, long and north of 64, along 264, low to mid 40s, south of 70, uh, low to mid, uh, mid to upper 40s, maybe nearing 50 down along the coast. Uh, it really will depend on where you are. There's going to be about a 20 degree temperature swing across eastern Carolina tomorrow. Uh, and, and once again, off and on showers and back off to the west, that's where we could see again on Tuesday morning that chance for maybe a little bit of a rain, snow, sleet mix kind of intermingling at times. But the temperatures will kind of be buoying back and forth between the upper 30s and low 40s. I think mostly low 40s, uh, upper 30s and low 40s early Tuesday morning. But we do rebound uh, back to near 50 by the time we head into the afternoon hours of Tuesday. But once again, wide range of temperatures. It will depend on who you are, where you are, uh, what you see. You see down here towards New Bern and Jacksonville, we're approaching, we're at 50, 45 in Greenville. So once again, kind of depending on where you are is what you'll get. Now with the winds uh, coming more out of the north and northeast through the next couple of days, we could have some minor water pileups in the north faces of the uh, lower Noose, the uh, lower Pamlico, and also the, Albem the Albemarle Sound, the P uh, Alligator River. Uh, so needless to say, uh, there's going to be a little bit of piling up of the water. Not a big issue. We're not expecting a whole lot of, uh, uh, of issues. And maybe some minor ocean overwash early, but this is going to be through Wednesday as we continue that brisk northerly and northeasterly wind that's going to continue to push the water into the southern side of the Pamlico Sound. All right, so what else are we looking at? So Area of low pressure number one gets offshore. The second one comes into play as we head towards Tuesday. Again, this one's going to be further offshore, so we're not going to be looking for as much of rain, but we could still see hit or miss showers on Tuesday underneath the clouds. And I don't think the model's really picking up on that, but there will be hit or miss showers on Tuesday. Highs nearing 50, and then we head into Wednesday. Another area of low pressure well up to the north of us 
uh, swings a cold front through here and there's going to be enough moisture in the low levels to be able to get squeeze out some showers in the thickness values come up a good bit. So we should be able to make it into the 60s. Frontal battery slams through here on Wednesday. We'll cool down just a little bit, but the sunshine comes back by the time we start off our first day of spring. How much rain could we see over the next uh, couple of days? Anywhere from a half to maybe two inches of rain, kind of depending on where you are. Most areas right around that inch to inch and a half range, but the coastal areas will be the, the big winners as far as this, as far as this is concerned. All right, here's what we got going on right now on the 500 millibar chart. This is coming off the GFS. And uh, basically, you've got two areas of low pressure, one here and one here. Most of this energy down here towards the south is going to lag behind. But uh, basically, this area of low pressure is going to lift off towards the north. And a second area is going to form off of that and lift off towards the north. This is the Monday deal. The northern one is going to be the Monday deal. The southern part of this is going to be the Tuesday deal. And underneath that, obviously, we're seeing our big area of low pressure and our rain chances continuing. Now, you do see what's happening here. You got an area of low pressure up here to the north that's rotating counterclockwise. Another one down here towards the south that is also rotating counterclockwise. Uh, basically, what's going to end up happening, you have high pressure trying to ridge down from Canada. Uh, up here. Well, basically what's going to happen, everything's going to wedge down here along the Appalachians and that's going to give us another CAD setup, a cold air damming setup. And that's why we're talking about that potential deep inland along the I-95 corridor and points off towards the west of ice and snow and also into Virginia. They're really going to get in on, uh, on the ice and snow. They do have winter storm warnings up for them, but for us it's just not going to be anything like that. There could be a couple sleep pellets, but not a big enough issue to make a call on that. So once again, not a big issue, but a few sleep pellets could fall out of the sky the next uh, 24 hours or so. And like I said, a lot of that southern energy kind of gets lagged behind down here in New Mexico. Uh, area of low pressure number one, a little short wave kind of moves through here as we head towards Monday evening. And then the second part is further south. So that flow pattern is going to bring it a little further offshore with the rain showers on Tuesday. At the surface, the first low lifts out and the second one is developing down here towards the south. And once again, that's going to lift off a little further offshore than the first one. So the bulk of the rain is going to come tonight and tomorrow morning. And then the second part, not so much. And once again, like I said, most of this is offshore. So I think mainly the coastal areas will be the best winners as far as rain showers are concerned as we head towards Tuesday. Still have a very strong CAD setup, but it's going to be eroding away as this area of low pressure lifts off towards the north and brings in the thickness values up. Uh, that's the 552 line that's going to be lifting northward as we head through the day on Tuesday. So it's going to take a little while on Tuesday, but eventually we will warm up to near 50 degrees. Some areas a little bit cooler, especially off towards the north southern areas, maybe even a touch warmer than the low 50s. So it will depend on where you are on Wednesday again, what you see. Now, what you're seeing here off towards the north and west of us is another area of low pressure. Now, this thing lifts off towards the north, but it has an associated cold front that's going to swing through here on uh, Wednesday and bring us a chance for showers. And some of the models are printing highs in the mid to upper 60s. Right now, I think with clouds and shower chances in place, I, I don't want to go as high as that just yet. I just don't see the consistency enough to go that high. So I pulled down the highs to the low 60s on Wednesday, but uh, that gets out of here fairly quickly. Look what happens as we head towards Thursday. Shun sunshine comes back in here. The 540 line trying to edge southward. I think the GFS is a little too cool on the highs on Thursday. I think we we go up uh, as far as our temperatures are concerned, not coming down as that area of low pressure lifts out. It's too far to the north to really bring down too much cold air and most of the flow is coming out of the north and west. I just think that it's a little too far south as far as its cold air is concerned. So I think we'll make it back into the 60s on Thursday, nearing normal as high pressure builds back in down to the south. Uh, and we should go with partly cloudy skies to start and then mostly sunny by the time we head into the afternoon hours. Now, uh, Friday, I think we were mostly sunny. Uh, not an issue uh, in high pressure and control. Now, as it edges off towards the east, you're going to get that return flow on the back side. So southwesterly wind's going to help to import some warmer temperatures. And we should make it to the mid to possibly even upper 60s that afternoon. Now, what we're going to be watching on Saturday, another area of low pressure developing back off towards the west. And at 500 millibars, we have a very zonal flow. But you'll see here a little piece of energy kind of rolling across up to the north. That's going to be just enough to spark a chance for showers in the forecast on Saturday as it develops a low pressure center just off of the uh, 
the New England coastline. So an, another chance for showers. You see the, the frontal boundary here kind of laying through here, and then that, that'll push off. But look what's happening off towards the north and west of us. Cold air shot coming down. Hey, high pressure. That's diving southward. And that's going to bring down the temperatures as we head towards your Sunday. Now, Saturday, I think we make it firmly into the 70s on, on Saturday. Nice thickness values coming up. And uh, uh, But, man, oh, man, when that area of high pressure builds in here and we'll tank the temperatures again and high pressure builds in on top of us 540 line comes southward i think we make mid 50s with mostly sunny skies that day then we head out towards monday and again it looks like it's going to be another cold shot as we head towards the first portion of next week but uh watching some moisture coming out of the south but that should stay down to our south as the high pressure ridges southward across us so we should stay dry out of that but what we'll be watching is more so the cold air intrusion and again i just don't see looking at the ensemble members just enough of a good signal for a warm air blast that just stays around i mean that's sunday and that's what we're talking about the temperatures tanking again is that those uh those 850 temperatures come down and crash again so winter, even though we'll start off spring uh, decent, uh, winter is not over. It, it seems like it's the never, inter, even, never ending winter. Let me get that out. Here's Monday and it's still cold. And that's because those 540 thickness lines coming southward. And that is persistent through the week next week. I don't really see a very big warm up until we head towards maybe next Saturday. And even that's a long way out there and a lot can change in that time period. That's going to do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update. You can stay up to date with us Facebook, Twitter, WNCT.com, and our brand new Storm Team 9 app in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Have a great rest of your evening, a great day tomorrow, and a great weather week ahead.